How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at is this 2019 Chevy Tahoe that we built for the Verona Rescue Squad. <laughs> So looking at this Tahoe, um, we have sound off signal warning and signaling equipment mounted in it. It features their blueprint uh, multiplex electrical system. And then what it also has is the uh, sync module, which is allows it to sync with other vehicles on scene. So the previous vehicle that we built for the fire department a few weeks ago um, is also able to sync up with this. So if they're ever on a scene, uh, the patterns will sync up and it'll help reduce distraction on scenes. So take a look at the top, we have a sound off signal interior light bar. We have a Go Rhino push bumper with sound off signal end forces mounted into the front along with the side section. <clears throat> they have their siren speakers mounted behind the grill in this application. Taking a look at the side of the vehicle, we have sound off signal under mirror intersectors. We have M powers mounted to the running boards. In the back corner here, we have a Kuzmol auto eject that's tied to a Xantrex inverter charger that allows them to have 110 outlets inside the vehicle uh, that have power if they turn the inverter on or if the vehicle is parked in the shoreline and it also charges the battery. Taking a look at the back of the vehicle up top, we have the sound off signal uh, eight module and power chimsel. We have uh, replacement LED reverse lights along with the parking lights tied into the blueprint system so that they flash in sync with the other warning lights. Um, this is a little different than doing a taillight flasher. It still gives them sync, and we didn't modify the taillight in any way, so it still retains the factory warranty. <clears throat> so with the hatch open, we have Technique dual color, four inch lights mounted to the top, along with the rear trim here. And they are in a red-white combination, and they have a three position switch that allows them to turn the white, the red on, or have the light off. So looking at the cabinet that we designed for them, um, we specifically designed it for their needs. Um, there's no radios mounted in the back, but they have 110 power, 12 volt USB, their switch to control the lights. Uh, they have pull out trays that allow them to put any uh, medical equipment on that they may want to store. And what's nice about this compartment down here is the back of it is open to the rear seat so that they're able to access anything that they put back here by flipping the seat down, or they can pull the tray out and gain access to it. <clears throat> On the passenger side of the cabinet, we have another full depth tray with the back of the cabinet open so that if they put anything at the back, they can gain access to that, or they can slide it out. <clears throat> and then they have an adjustable shelf above that. So depending on what equipment they store here, they can adjust the shelf or they can even take it out if they decide that they want to put a piece of uh, taller equipment in there at some point. Up top here, we have some flat storage area if they wanted to uh, mount flashlights or anything else that they may choose to at a later time there. So taking a look at the back of the cabinet, you can see we have um, some netting that we custom made for the cabinet to keep uh, any equipment that's on that shelf inside the compartment. Uh, you can see we have the open storage to the back of this pullout tray. And then we have our radio uh, chassis mounted here along with the circuit breaker for the inverter. And what that does is that uh, allows us to separate the outlets for the uh, panel that's in the back there and give it protection. And then up top, we have our Xantrex inverter that we talked about before. <clears throat> Underneath the back seat, we have our main electrical distribution panel, uh, which gives us easy access to our blueprint central controller to program our equipment. Uh, we have easy access to our fuses, so our power is brought in here and then it gets branched out from there so it'll go to the console and then back up to the radio panel where everything's fused out from there. Taking a look at the console, we have one of our stock console designs. Um, this one features the angled front section along with the flat rear section uh, with the storage pocket on the back. It. What the customer requested was we uh, install our adjustable track system to allow them to remove the dividers as they see fit. So we have 12 volt USB up top. We have our sound off blueprint rotary knob controller that has our arrow stick control for the back chimsel. We have takedown left alley and right alley capabilities. Uh, we also have a low frequency siren. The vehicle has the cruise dim light feature. 
We have our rear scene, which allows them to turn the rear scene lights on to provide additional scene lighting back there. If they were gonna light up the scene or hook up a trailer, they have that ability to have that. And then we have our ignition override system, which allows them to take the key out and lock the doors so the vehicle is secure on scene. We've installed their radios into the console cup holders, adjustable armrest, and as we talked before, we have our adjustable track system. For the Motorola radio, the customer elected for us to have the speaker mounted up to the headliner to help with the um, dispersion of the noise down towards them. So it's a little different of a sound from when the radios that are in the console to up here. It's very nice. It's mounted up with our uh, custom bracket that allows the radio to be serviced by just removing the screws, and then they're able to bring it down, and they don't need to take the uh, headliner down in order to service that speaker.